So I was just reading the daily newspaper and under my horoscope it says I should jump in a lake. So... What's up party people? It's your boy Oz Vlogs coming back at you with another travel vlog. Ah! Uh, before I came here I kind of tried to like dye my hair and cut it but it didn't exactly go to plan. Well, that was almost completely futile, but you know what? I don't give a shit because I'm flying to Thailand today. Um, I'd also just like to do a quick shout out to the best hostel I've ever stayed in in my life, uh, The Yard. So if you're ever in Bangkok, you should definitely, definitely check it out. So at the moment, it's 10am and we are about to get the bus to Pattaya. How does this make you feel? Two different types of camping, uh, general camping and boutique camping. Although general camping already feels like boutique camping because we have actual toilets and actual sinks that are plumbed into the ground and actual showers, so it's not a bad deal. Another thing is that the festival is cashless, so you go to one of these top-up stations and you top up your wristband using your debit card and then you can just use that at every single catering stall, every merch stall. You get all your money back at the end. I like that. I don't have to take my wallet out with me. Turns out it's too hot in the daytime, so everybody just meditates and does yoga and talks. They're talking about very strange things. Uh, well, my new favourite stage is the solar stage. So it's already Sunday. How did that happen? I think it's a good time to just have a little stroll about the festival and reflect on what the experience has been. I like the people. Uh, there's so many different people here from all different races. It's so international. The festival itself is also completely carbon positive. They're planning on planting 10,000 mangrove trees in Myanmar. Also, there's no general waste whatsoever. Everything is recycled. All of the cutlery and crockery that you get given at the food stalls is all recyclable. And all of the bins help you to separate things. There's beds. Like, fucking everywhere, just beds. And during the day, it reaches about 32, 33 degrees, so everyone just sleeps on beds. There are so many different stages. Like, I actually can't even count. Um, and it took me until Saturday night to have gone to all of them. Which is surprising, because there's really not that many people here. 
I guess one of the only major downsides of this weekend is that yesterday I did get food poisoning, which is probably why I wasn't able to film as much as I would have liked. Uh, but that's basically just my white boy belly not being able to deal with the change in cuisine. But I did meet a very lovely lady today named Poupe, who gave me this wavy gum. You must be Yeah, so I'm back in Bangkok. I feel a lot better. Thank you for your concerns. Um, the food poisoning did kind of put a dampener on things, but I tried not to let it ruin my spirits, you know? I still had an amazing time. I think one of the best things is that it's actually a really good festival, even if you're not drinking or taking any drugs. Like, you can just enjoy the vibe and the atmosphere.